Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to show you guys how to paint this fun haunted house Halloween painting. Uh, and we're gonna have a full moon glowing in the background and then have our haunted house kind of overlapping over top of that. So it's gonna make for a wonderful backdrop. I'm gonna have so much fun showing you guys how to create this background. We're using some fun colors, working on a black primed canvas. You can take any white canvas you have and cover it with black paint or black gesso. Um, I'm back to doing a series of black canvas paintings for you guys, it's been a little while. If you wanna check out more, be sure to look below this video or at the end of this video, I've got a couple uh, forest ones there just off to the right, you may see those were both on uh, black canvases as well. So let's go ahead and get started. If you guys are excited and wanna learn how to paint this step-by-step, step, all levels of painters welcome, beginners welcome, no matter what level or stage you're at, you can all follow along with me, follow at your own pace and your own ability, and you're just gonna gain so much info and technique in this painting. And I'm gonna go over the colors we're using for this painting today, starting off with titanium white. I've got a bit of yellow ochre, neon yellow, warm neon orange, Mars black, phthalo blue, light blue violet, brilliant purple, or um, pastel purple, aqua aqua green turquoise and light olive green. I've got a one inch round mop brush and I'm gonna start off with a little bit of neon yellow, a little bit of white, and I'm just gonna start creating these little circles. Now this is all gonna dry a little bit darker because we're working on a black canvas, but I want this to be a little bit brighter right here. Okay, and then I'm gonna come to my next color, which is the aqua green turquoise. You can use any turquoise though, it doesn't matter. No water on my brush at all. This is just straight paint on a dry brush. Okay, and with the next color, I'm gonna take some phthalo blue. And I'm going to start adding it here on the right side, working it in to that turquoise. Then I'm going to take my blue, light blue, violet and purple and start adding that around. dry brush over this area here okay, with a little bit of my light green violet or <laughs> light olive green this is going to be the hill there's some light a little bit of moonlight hitting this hill here. Now I'm going to switch over to a number 30 filbert brush. I'm going to get it a little bit wet and I'm going to take my white, wiggle it on the tip of my brush and I'm just going to add my moon right like this. And paint it in. And I'm going to take my blue, my turquoise, a little bit of that purple. And I'm just going to start adding a little bit to the hillside here. Sort of working that in. Okay, 
a little bit more of the green, a little bit of white, kind of just crisscrossing. This will help kind of give it sort of a soft mood and perhaps a little bit of a foggy mist or haze over everything. I'm just going to take with a uh, number eight filbert, a little bit of white, blue, and green. A little bit more here. We've got a little bit of that light olive green in there. I don't want to have too much paint on my brush. I want to mix the paint up and then work some of it out and then just start come around the edge of the moon here and start creating a little bit of a haze. You know how you get that glow behind the moon? I'm going to take a little bit more blue and we'll build up some soft looking clouds and really build up the layers of this. So we get an extra magical looking sky. With the phthalo blue and the turquoise go really nicely together. Take a little bit of white, yellow ochre, neon yellow warm, and a little bit of light olive green. I'm just gonna tap a little bit of light in here and then start coming in with a bit of a path just so we feel a little bit of that the moonlight shining down in this area. And then we'll scumble, scumble, scumble for more of a foggy look. And then we can go up and scoop down to make it look like a ghost. Just a little scoop like that. Just add a little bit more. Nothing too scary. And then we'll just dab off some eyes and a mouth. I think I'll use a smaller brush for this. I've got a little round brush. And all I'm doing here is just working that thin layer of paint that I added off exposing the black canvas underneath. We'll add some eyes here. And just a little hint of white again. A 
outline. soften okay, a little bit of that blue green turquoise a little bit of white again. It all depends on how much you want your ghost to show up. I'm just going to switch it back over to my filbert brush here, my number eight. Dry it off and then just make this look a little bit more see-through. And give it more of a sweeping look. Just soften a little, a little dab of black. Okay, so I'm going to take my white and a little bit of that neon yellow warm, and I'm going to start. Painting over the moon, we're going to make it brighter, and then we're going to work our way down into more orange for the lights to show up in our house. I'm just going to rinse my brush off a little bit. Just go over, just slightly over the line of the moon. And I'll give it just a little bit of a softness. I'm going to take my orange, yellow, warm, a little bit of white. And dab that in here. And I'm going to go right back over to a little bit of that green, white, and yellow. And just re-add a little bit of highlight coming over the hill here. A little bit more of the green. I rinse my brush out, dry it off, turn it flat, and gently soften and scumble. Take a little bit of those colors again. And sweep over my ghost.
Okay, back over to yellow and orange. Move a little bit down here. And some more white. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is take some black, still using the same number eight filbert brush. And I'm just going to add a little bit of an outline here. This will go down like behind the ghost. Maybe I should add this line in here first and then go over the ghost again so it looks see-through. The ghost, I mean. I'll just scumble down here, just gently building up some more shadows. I'm going to quickly dry this off and then I'll come back over top of the ghost. So I'm just going to go over top of the ghost, a little bit of turquoise, blue, make it look kind of see-through there, like ghosts should be. <laughs> I like this turquoise, this bit of turquoise in here too. And a little bit more. Scumble that around, a little bit more blue as well. more of the blue. Okay, so now I'm going to switch over to a flat brush. This way I have a little bit more control over the lines of my house. And this is a number 10 flat brush. And I'm going to get it just a little bit wet. I'm going to use black. And I'm going to come right up here, add a line for the sides of the house. And then I'll add a roof line here and here. A line that goes there. I'll just paint that in black. Adding a little bit of water to my brush. Just a little cross in the window. Get a little bit more water and black paint. Add a little peek on that side too if we want. A 
And so this is the reason why we have that yellow and orange background on our moon. So that the light shines through the windows. Just bring a line down here for the like, front porch. I'm going to take your line. I guess you could just say like skinny triangles here on either side of where the door is. And then I'm going to lift my brush up and create an arch, an archway here. I'm going to do the same thing here. Same thing there. Add a line down. Across, across. And then we can just have like a little railing here, which we can barely see, but take a little bit more black. Dab, 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 dab. Add a little bit of black here on the side of the house, either side. And add a line across the top there and then a few right in there and we'll leave a little window showing right in there So we'll just pick a few areas where we'll add a little bit more of the black. And we'll start working on the top portion. Let's pull across. And then we'll have a few more windows. So we've got four here. Take a little bit more water on my brush and help loosen that paint out. Add a little bit more on the side here. And then bring it up into a peak. Add a little line here and here. And then I'll add a little dab on the top of those.
I add some more coming down here, more black. Maybe create some stairs. I'll make these stairs start to come out wider. And then just get smaller and smaller and smaller. Add some light coming down on the steps here from the house. So this is the yellow, um, warm yellow, orange, and some white. add a little bit in the windows too and a little bit, bit of a dry brush of light coming casting down here from those windows and maybe we can add a few windows Higher up. And then just little touches of this orange here and there. And a little bit more black. Scoop up and over. And then come back in. Just to give some height and a little bit of a roof line around those windows, right? So I'm just gonna take a smaller brush here, guys. A little number two round brush. And then I can come up over this a little bit easier. And we'll come up around this one as well. Or these ones, I should say. <laughs> Just a few little more little dabs there. And curl up the side a little bit. Just to give our house a little bit more character.
few little dabs on the top there as well. All these little things just really add to the character of our paintings, you know? And it's the most fun for me. I love doing this. Okay, I'm just going to come in here and add a few little black lines. I'll take a little bit of my blue and my black. And just outline these eyes and mouth a little bit. I'm just going to add a branch with black and blue. I'm still using my round brush. You can use a liner brush too if you want. Make sure you have a little bit of water on your brush. And I'm just going to have a little branch coming down here. Being very wiggly. This just helps to add to the setting. I'm just going to take a little bit more blue and black and make some of these branches a little thicker. And I'll take a little bit more blue. I'm going to bring it down here on either side. Bring a little bit of black in there. Just to create a little bit more foreground and shadows. Use a flat brush here and just soften some of that blue out. Add a little bit of that blue dry brush over the side of my ghost here. a little bit of water on my brush. I'm just going to outline these guys a little bit. A 
helps to give them that kind of ghost-like appearance. Just creating these soft round lines. And then I'll scump a little bit more up here after this is dry to create some more fog. A little bit more of that. And I'm also going to take a little bit of white with my blue and turquoise. Same brush, get it nice and pointy. And I'm just going to add a few little peaks in the clouds. Just the very tip of my brush, all I'm doing, kind of just wiggling. I'm not trying to be neat and tidy with it. Wiggling around. And then I'll have a little bit in here with my warmer colors. So a little bit of turquoise and the yellow and the orange. Rinsing my brush out, there's just a little bit of water on it, just what's left in the brush from washing it out. And I'll just soften around here, soften these lines a bit. I'm gonna come in with more black here. Add a little line across and then down. Just add more shadows. Okay, so I'm going to add the little finishing touches to this painting. With a little bit of water on a smaller mop brush. This is like a half inch. Use a little bit of white, blue, and turquoise. Work out most of it so it's pretty dry. And then I'm just going to start going in circles. Whenever you want to add that, that mist and fog, I'm picking up a little bit of that wet blue paint down in each corner. Just a little bit right there, down at the very bottom, hiding at the corner down there. Just a little bit of turquoise in with that blue. Okay, I'll 
as I finish adding the last touches of this painting. I want to say thanks so much for joining me today. Hope you guys had fun watching this. Feel free to paint along, of course, and share it with your painting groups, friends, and whoever you like. Uh, be sure to subscribe to my channel for more. Just click down here and it's free, of course, and I've got tons of tutorials just waiting for you to unlock and paint along with. See you guys all soon in my next video. Bye!